Hello, uh, in this lab, I will be discussing about how you can configure your uh, routers, especially the interfaces, IP address, etc. See, in this map of three locations where we have uh, New Delhi, London and Singapore, we have already done the basic configuration of routers. So here, this is one LAN. You can see this one, this is one LAN. This is WAN. This is another LAN. WAN. LAN. So total we have three local area networks and two wide area networks. So I'll name this one. So here what I'm going to do, uh, this is a LAN, I can say A and this is a LAN B just for our uh, understanding. So this is my LAN C. Okay. LAN C. So here I have my wide area network. Lands A, total of five networks. Van, okay, I can say Van B. So I need to define now what are all my addresses, network addresses which I need to choose. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to choose this LAN A as maybe 192.168.1.0 uh, slash 24. This is first network which I'm going to choose. Uh, I can say Van wide area network A as I can say 192.168.2.0 slash 24 okay and uh, next is LAN B I can choose this as 192.168.3.3.0 slash 24 okay and WAN B 192.168.4.0 slash 24 and LAN C I want to choose this. You can have your own configurations. Dot uh, five dot zero slash twenty four. This is the summary of what which I wanted to provide this. One. So this one is one hundred one sixty eight. So I can give this particular when I see this LAN A, this segment, this router, this part is in LAN A. Whereas your serial port, wide area network port, I want to configure this as maybe I'll just name it what IPs I wanted to give. So here the IP which I wanted to give is 192.168.1.1 slash 24. So here I can give 192 for the systems 192.168.2.2 sorry not 1.2 slash 24. And this system I can give 192.168.1.3 slash 24. And here 192, 168, 1.4, uh, slash 24 and so on like as your network continues. And now for the router, the serial interface 192, 168.2.1 slash 24. And here the other interface I can give 192, 168.2.2 slash 24. Okay. And here I can give this is 3, LAN B. 192, 168, 3.1 slash 24. And for this system, what I can do is 192, 168, 3.2, which comes under the same network of this particular one. So here I'll give 192. This is only provisional. I'm only just typing all the things as so the name templates for us to understand. So this is 4.1 slash 24. And uh, this one is 192, 168. 4.2 slash 24 and here local area network here this one I can say local area network 192 5.1 slash 24 and here 192 5.2 slash 24 remember we are configuring like this if you want to add more systems yes you can add accordingly First, we will configure the end devices, then we will configure. See, the my network router map is almost ready. I can save periodically also. So, here my laptop, I know that this IP is 182.168.1.2 and my gateway to this particular network is my router IP that is LAN 1.1. So, I just click this one. You can go to configuration and provide your fast Ethernet. This is your fast Ethernet interface. I can say 192.168. 1.2 and subnet mask is slash 24 and of course your gateway also need to be defined where is that gateway okay 
interface the global yeah in settings you can see this uh, gateway 192 168 1.1 so this is all done automatically it is saved so how do you know whether it is saved just keep your cursor on the uh, system you can see 192 168 which is displayed accordingly on the ip address okay similarly let me configure the other ip address also so gateway is all same for all this network 1.1 and the ip address 192.168 uh, this is 1.3 255 that's okay so close this one and for the server also you say in config the gateway is 192.168.1.1 and to the interface yes i'm giving 192.168.1.4 and get the system okay similarly i'll do for this particular one config 192 168 168 3.2 so sorry 3.1 is my gateway and my ip address is 3.2 192 168 3.2 right so this is same now you can see this 3.2 is recorded so same thing for the laptop of the fifth network so 192 168 5.1 is my gateway and now 192, 168, 5.2 is my IP address. Okay. So that's all about this. Uh, so we have set all the things of the end devices. So just save. Now, the most important thing, we need to configure the router. So just click the router, go to CLI, EN, EN. Okay. So I'm in privilege mode. So now what you can do is that you can ask show interfaces, show interfaces. Okay. So you can ask even uh, show interfaces or show IP interfaces brief. Also you can ask brief this is also one shortcut command or you can say show interfaces. So now as of now, if you see maximize, there is nothing which is set fast Ethernet. Nothing is set. IP address is not set. Okay, and for same thing for serial 2 is not set, serial 3 is also not, nothing has been set. So we need to set up. So how do you know which interface you need to set? Just keep it here. Just place it here at the dot. You will see this FA 0 by 0 is the interface. Just click this one. So what we need to do, we need to set up the IP address of 1.1. So what I'll do is that config T interface FA 0 by 0. This is my interface. Please remember, you need to give the exact IP address to the interface. If you give something wrong, then it will not display. So what is my IP address? 192.168.1.1 and my net mask is 255.255.255.0. Done. Done. So I can say end and say write memory. Right. So but before that, what we need to do, we need to do one more thing also interface fa0 by 0 we need to do one more thing is that we have set the ip address true but we need to restart the interface so a uh, no shut once you give this no shut command you see here this interface will start working yeah it has turned green now it is handshaking to the switch it has started green the interface is up similarly we need to configure the other interfaces also here, what I am doing is, uh, I will select this, uh, I can come out, interface, this is serial 2 upon 0, IP address is 192.168.2.1, uh, 255.255.255.0, and uh, ok, you can say no shut, no shut, it has changed to, nothing has happened, no shut after that, wait, the other side also needs to be done then only it will be up. So end, write memory, okay. So you can say exit. This router A at New Delhi is configured. Now let us go to London. So EN, comp please practice. Okay, interface first I will configure the LAN interface. So here uh, this is the LAN interface. You can see this one 3.1. 
that is FA0 by 0. Uh, if it is Giga Ethernet, then you have to see GI00 or something like that. Okay. IP space address 192.168, that is 3.1. Okay. 255, that is the subnet mask. 255.255.0, no shut. Yeah, you can see the interface has changed to green. Now let me select this, the other interface. This is serial 2 by 2, uh, 2 by 0. So exit interface serial 2 upon 0. IP space address 192.168. Okay, 2.2, 255, 255, 255.0. And you can say no shut. So automatically once you say shut, the other side is already configured this side it has activated automatically you can provide the clock rate also if needed since you have given automatic clock rate will automatically be taken that is 64,000 that's okay no need to worry and we need to configure one more interface interface serial 3 upon 0 okay IP space address 192.168 that is 4.1 255 255 255.0 you can see this one whether you are giving correct or not please check that is 4.1 okay always double check is always important so once you are done yes it's done okay so no shut no shut is very very important done and so just say write it has written exit so this router is also configured now let me switch on to the third router en okay providing con t Interface FA0 by 0, IP space address 192.168. What's my IP address? It, I think it is 5.1. 5.1 this one. 5.1, 255, 255, 255.0. 255 no shut. Yeah, it's coming. And now we are left with only uh, the serial interface. Okay, exit interface. Serial 2 upon 0 IP space address 192.168.4.0 slash I mean 255 255 255.0. Okay, uh, sorry, I think we have given wrong. 4.1 we should give that. That is the address is 4.2, not 4.2. Right, that is the IP address. Right? So no shut. Done. All done and right yeah perfect so now you see all i mean routers with interfaces are configured okay so just save this one uh, don't quit without saving yeah now our test so go to your desktop go to command prompt this is the command prompt of this particular system if you want to know what is ip ip config this is the basic command in your system it's telling 192, 1.2. Perfect. And the gateway is 192, 1.2, 1.2. Let me try the ping. Ping 192, 1.2, 1.2. To the gateway. Yeah, it's pinging. Let me try uh, pinging to the next server. So 1.3. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's pinging. Maybe I'll let me try with the other system which are connected to the switch. 4. It's pinging. But let me change my network from 1 to 2 or 3 or 4 or 5. Like maybe he is my colleague who is there 3.2. Let me say what is 3.2. If I say ping, destination is unreachable. That means that by default routers will not communicate to other networks. What we need to define in the routers is a kind of route. Once we define the route, these systems can communicate to other systems remotely. Is this clear? I hope you are clear. So we need to define a kind of routing table. In our next exercise, we will be learning about how to define various kind of routing protocols. Once you define the routing protocols, you will basically learn about how you can communicate to other systems easily. So save this one. So, okay, we will learn about how you can configure routes in my next lab exercise. Please practice couple of times. This I'll say I'm saving this one. So this 3R can also be copied, saved as I say copy. 
please uh, otherwise if there is any changes yes uh, you need to uh, maybe rename i'll say backup we need to use this particular one at any point you can open using this three routers verify right all things are safe thank you and bye